Happy holidays, everyone. And here in Northwest Arkansas, we had a Thanksgiving shocker in the real estate market as our average sales prices shot all the way up to nearly the same level as our peak pricing from this summer. Now also, mortgage rates have begun to fall at the fastest pace since 2008. So we'll get into all the juicy details in just a minute. <laughs> thinking about making a move to Northwest Arkansas? Well, I've got just the thing for you. My team and I have put together the ultimate relocation guide, which will save you hours of research and a lot of headache. I've linked to it down below in the description. So it's got top employers, the best hospitals, and a ton of other stuff that you need to know before making the move. The best part is it's free. 100% absolutely free. So just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment I hope that helps. But you can see here our inventory is around that five months of supply, which is a slight seller's market, verging on being a, a more neutral uh, than what we've seen for most of this year. Now a completely neutral market, uh, neither favoring sellers or buyers, would be six months of inventory. Now in this next chart, you can actually see the number of active and pending homes in November staying around the same levels that we've had, you know, from July, August, and October at 3,365 homes uh, active and pending, so under contract in the market, but they haven't closed yet. Okay, so this is also pretty comparable uh, to the peak inventory levels that we had uh, last year and also in 2021. But, you know, we're still nowhere near uh, the, the inventory peaks from uh, 2019 or 2018, which were both over 4,000 homes in the market. So, you know, we're still dealing with lower inventory, low supply in our market. Uh, and also now our number of closed transactions is actually starting its dip here into the end of the year. Uh, so coming all the way down to 694 sales in November. So overall inventory slightly up and closings are slightly down, just a little bit lower, uh, which is totally expected to be uh, happening this time of the year. For how long properties are staying in the market, November's average days came in at 78. Uh, so we're getting back to more typical timelines uh, to sell properties, uh, which is similar to what we were seeing before 2020, uh, you know, so back in 2019 and 2018. Uh, so this is generally good news for buyers because the longer that we see homes sitting on the market, the more willing those sellers are uh, to negotiate better prices and terms. Uh, however, our median days on market, uh, you know, it, it peaked back here in, uh, what was this, September, and so our November number came all the way back down to 47 days in the market. Uh, and so that means that with a 30 to 45 day closing period for most transactions, uh, this means that at least 50% of homes are still selling uh, faster than this 47 days on market. Uh, you know, so they're getting a contract within the first few weeks of being listed. Now, the big shock to the system that I wasn't predicting was that our average home sale price in November jumped all the way up to almost 435,000. Now, that's that's pretty much matching our prices from the peak of the summer selling season right here, uh, which is usually uh, the busiest time of year with the highest prices. But as you can see, November was right there neck and neck with it. Now, our median price stayed even with the last three months here at 350000 Now, as I've been saying recently, I expect this average pricing level to continue at or above the $400,000 level as we move through this winter. Uh, so now with the holiday gift of lower interest rates, uh, we might even see home prices move higher during this time. I honestly wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and a little bit more on those interest rates in just a minute. But let's take a look at the average prices per square foot around the area. Again, generally around $200 a square foot. Uh, so Benton County was $206. Washington County, $196 a square foot. 
Uh, within Bentonville proper, it was $233 a square foot and Fayetteville was $216 a square foot. Now, let's talk about mortgage rates. Uh, they kept rising throughout most of this year, uh, getting all the way down to almost 6% and then rising all the way up to about 8% in October. Now, upon the news that the Federal Reserve is pausing rate hikes for now, the bond and the mortgage markets reacted with a sudden drop in rates that we've been watching over the last month. And so we're currently all the way back down to 7.03 as of December 7th. And uh, clearly this, this upward trend that we were seeing has been broken at this point. And most analysts are expecting further rate declines as we move throughout 2024. However, those higher rates have kept many potential buyers on the sidelines this year, uh, which created a dampening effect on the true pent up demand for our homes. And so that's why we've been recommending over the last couple of months, we've been recommending that buyers actually take advantage of these opportunities that we saw this fall in order to scoop up a good deal. Uh, you know, we, we have more inventory, we do have longer average days on market, and we have seen that some sellers are more willing to negotiate as that buyer pool has shrunk down. And now with rates on the decline, it may be the best time that we've seen all year to jump in and grab the home that you've been waiting for while there's still relatively little competition from other buyers. So if you wait until the spring, Prices will likely be much higher than they are now, and the competition for homes will become much tougher to win. So here's what this all means for you. Uh, our Northwest Arkansas real estate market is winding down into the winter with fewer closings taking place, as usual. And uh, we have more homes available on the market than we've had in months. And so that's an opening for savvy shoppers. So I'm seeing more price reductions happening and more room for negotiating with some sellers. Although again, those average prices even went up this month. So remember, if mortgage rates continue to fall, more buyers will be coming into the market and competing for the homes that are available. And so prices will jump even higher from current levels as mortgage rates do come down. So locking in a good price right now might be a very smart bet. And then if you have the opportunity to refinance into a lower rate in the coming year or the next year after that, you'll have the best of both worlds. And some of our lender partners even have the option to do a free refinance anytime within the next two years if rates fall substantially. So you might want to take advantage of that. With that being said, I hope you have a great Christmas and a, and a great New Year's Eve here in December. So go enjoy some cookies and fireworks and uh, we'll catch you on the next monthly market update.